Hello everyone, my name is Shitansh and I am from Kit University, Bhubaneswar. So uh, today I'll talk about my uh, coding career which uh, started in my first year of engineering and uh, I tried to solve some hackering problems and I found it somehow uh, difficult to solve. Uh, in my second year, I didn't code much but uh, knew all the basics. Uh, as uh, I was a graphic designer, so I uh, like to design and uh, video ed editing stuff. So uh, uh, I didn't code much. So uh, what happened? Uh, I got to know about the mission R and D uh, from my uh, friend's cousin, and uh, I was quite uh, fascinated by the website and the people who are working in it. Uh, since I was not doing much stuff, so I decided that uh, let's uh, join this. Uh, uh, course and let's see what happens. Uh, at the beginning, I uh, got those uh, C assignments, which was uh, quite tough for me to solve, and uh, uh, it was that difficult that uh, I have to, I had to spend three to four days in same question. Just imagine uh, that uh, the level of questions you you get here, and you you try to solve. I mean, it was for me, not for everyone. But uh, the thing that kept me going was uh, that I decided that I had to get in there to uh, build all those skills. So I just literally coded everything and uh, uh, took some uh, friends' help, and also uh, uh, they f found it difficult to code. So uh, there were mock tests in between and uh, mock tests were good. I did good in mock tests, uh, but the thing was uh, uh, before the final uh, link list, link list, uh, I thought I was good at link list, but before the assignment came, uh, that was uh, really a nightmare for me. And after that, uh, re uh, the uh, trees and recursion, that was very, very difficult to solve. So I uh, researched all the website and uh, studied uh, how recursion works, how trees works, you know. So uh, what happened uh, after, uh, in final test, there, uh, uh, there was a, a problem to recursion which I uh, wasn't able to solve. So uh, the result came and uh, I was selected for the winter camp. So in uh, winter camp, uh, the, it was of three days camp in uh, Vishakhapatnam and uh, I had to travel since I lived in Bhuvaneshwar uh, yeah uh, I missed one thing uh, there were face to face classes uh, uh, every month and I had to travel from Bhuvaneshwar to uh, Vishakhapatnam for, for that class and uh, in those classes we were, we were uh, given some tasks or uh, uh, you can say that we were given some problem and uh, uh, we had to solve those problems and uh, some of them were good and I did solve some of them uh, so uh, uh, yes uh, and that was the face to face class part and uh, the winter camp winter camp was quite a life changing situation for me because in those three days I just coded and slept and nothing else like literally uh, we were given some tasks they they were so strict that if you want to get selected you must solve this the task so uh, i literally tried my best to solve solve those and uh, i think uh, i did 70 percent of the task 70 to 80 percent of the task and uh, after after the three days of winter camp i Code it for two, three more days to submit those files. So uh, it kept me going that uh, I had to do, I had to do, and I didn't know my potential of coding before that. Before then, what happened in those three days? I just uh, did my best and uh, developed some new things, uh, which uh, which I, uh, which, is, which was new to me, and I didn't know that, and I didn't know my potential that I could write two thousand lines of code. So that was quite fascinating and uh, it gave me motivation that I had to get in here. So I did uh, very good in Python course and uh, it was uh, pretty amazing that uh, from C to Python. I mean uh, in C you write a lot of code and do some uh, different things and uh, in Python you write one line of code and you see the magic. 
so uh, the uh, python part was uh, very much amazing for me and i uh, enjoyed every bit of it and uh, i solved every assignment and uh, uh, i tried my level best to uh, cope up with the python programmers uh, in the finals i did good but uh, i was a bit nervous in final exam that i might not get selected so uh, fortunately i have been selected for the summer and uh, this was the journey from a graphic designer to a non coder to coder uh, and uh, mission r&d plays a very important role in my life for being a good coder and writing good clean code i'm also not afraid to write a lot of lines of code and i am uh, i i think that uh, i'm ready to develop some uh, new things and uh, uh, mission r&d uh, taught me how to learn different things different new things by myself not by some teachers not anyone but by myself and this is the uh, this is very important part for in anyone's life if there is something new and how he grasp those things and how to learn things by yourself so uh, thank you mission r&d and uh, uh, thank you guys